Donald Trump is having a tremendous time uh, as president of the United States at the expense of taxpayers and his donors. Now, he hasn't even been in office for 100 days and he's already planning for re-election. Since November, he has raised $42 million. That's a whole lot of money. You haven't even been in office for 100 days. How do you even know you're gonna get re-elected? But the interesting thing is that over 500,000 of, of that money has already been spent in his own personal businesses. Now let's take a look at the numbers. 274,000 has gone to Trump Towers uh, for rent. 58,000 has gone to his golf club uh, in Palm Beach. Uh, 13,000 has gone to, uh, to renting and catering for his uh, Trump Hotel and Ve in Vegas. On top of that, the fucked up part is that in 2016, he spent $14 million of his donations on his own personal businesses. Now, would you say that's uh, maybe a conflict of interest? Well, I don't know because the mainstream media isn't talking about this. The Democratic Party isn't talking about this either. I mean, if I was one of the Democrats, I would be on every Sunday morning show saying, look how much money he's spending out of your donations. I mean, it takes on average $1.5 million every time he goes to his golf course in Mar-a-Lago. That's coming out of our, our pocket. We're paying taxes for him to go golfing. Now you, you might argue like, yeah, he met with uh, some presidents there or whatever, but that's, isn't that what the high, uh, White House is for? You have an office with a staff of people at your disposal. You don't need to bring your whole operation to Florida and costing a 1.5 million every time you go. I mean, just uh, Air Force One costs 142,000 per hour just to use. $17,000 has been used for golf cart rentals. I was, well, his Secret Service staff needs golf carts. 17,000. That's ridiculous. I don't know what kind of money he's spending, but it's sure I wouldn't pay $17,000 for, for, for golf carts. I thought he was gonna be a great negotiator, but he's just spending our money at like, like it's just Christmas for him. You know, this is his, his gift. He won, now he gets to spend it all in golf courses and just messing around while uh, uh, you know, his vice president is actually doing some of his heavy load along with his advisors while he gets to go golfing and maybe from time to time bringing in a, pre a president or two to his uh, go golfing with him. So what you have here is pretty much the best scam artist in our history. Why? Because he was able to fool about half of the population into actually trusting him to run the country. And even after this whole reports of how much money he's spending, his supporters don't even bulge. I mean, yeah, his unfavorable ratings are pretty low, but his strong supporters are not bulging. They don't care. He's saying, well, he's a good businessman. That's how uh, you make business in golf courses. Uh, well, most presidents stayed in the White House. He, in, in just the, uh, these 100 days alone, he spent more money than uh, Obama spent on, eight, on his eight years of going golfing. So hypocrisy right there. All over his election, he was saying, oh yeah, I'm just gonna be stuck in the White House. I won't even go golfing because I won't have time. But here you are, spending more money than any other president at the expense of taxpayers. Good job, America. This is what you're getting.